everyone myself sopna ayer lecturer in physics today we are going to discuss a chapter that is laws of motion before going to study this chapter we discuss about some basic uh, concepts which are related to this chapter okay so what are physical quantities physical quantities the all measurable quantities are called physical quantities what are physical quantities all measurable quantities quantities are called physical quantities okay so this physical quantities can be classified into two groups they are scalars and vectors they are scalars and vectors okay scalars means the physical quantity which has only magnitude the physical quantity the physical quantities quantities which has only magnitude only magnitude but no specified direction but no specified direction is called scalar that means the physical quantity which has only magnitude means size what is magnitude it is size that means gatra object size eshtu ide anadanta size eshtu ide anadanta matra denote madutte it does not indicates its direction of motion that is called scalars the physical quantity is which has only magnitude which doesn't has any specified direction for example mass mass of an object for example certain object has mass 5 kg that 5 indicates size of the object that is magnitude it doesn't has any specific the mass has doesn't the mass doesn't has any specified direction okay so it has only magnitude that is size okay here for example mass of an object is 10 kg means 10 is the size of the object that means it has only magnitude so number magnitude is nothing but number 5 kg or 10 kg like that like that length mass length length 2 cm 3 cm 10 cm like that okay mass length distance etc are the example for scalars what are scalars the physical quantities which has only magnitude but no specified direction okay next vectors vectors are the physical quantities which has both magnitude and direction the physical quantities the physical quantities which has both magnitude both magnitude and the direction both magnitude and direction is called vector the physical quantity having only magnitude is called scalar the physical quantity which has both magnitude and direction is called vector for example displacement velocity displacement velocity acceleration etc in scalar we give the example as distance that means the distance traveled by an object for example we say that the distance traveled by an object is 5 km so the distance traveled by an object is for say 5 m or 5 km like that so displacement means the distance traveled by an object 5 km or 5 m along us uh, towards east or west that indicates direction okay that means which has both magnitude and direction for example uh, an object uh, an object moves with a velocity 2 m per we say that an object moving with a velocity 2 m per second 
towards east. The object is moving with an elasticity two meter per second towards east. Okay, here two is the size that is magnitude and towards east or towards west that indicates direction specified direction. The direction on which the object moves that is the specified direction. So it has both magnitude and direction. It is called vectors. But in case of scalars, the physical quantity which has only magnitude but doesn't has any direction. But here it has magnitude plus direction. Okay. What are physical quantities? All measurable quantities are called physical quantities. Example, length, mass, distance, displacement, velocity, etc. Okay. This physical quantities can be classified into two types. They are scalars and vectors. The physical quantities which has only magnitude but no specified direction is called scalars. Example, mass, length, distance, etc. Vectors. The physical quantity which has both magnitude and direction is called vector. Example, displacement, velocity, acceleration, force, etc. Okay. The difference between scalars and vectors. We shall distinguish between scalars and vectors. Okay. What is the first difference? The physical quantity which has only magnitude. Scalar means physical quantity which has only magnitude, which has only magnitude. Here, the physical quantity which has both magnitude and direction. The physical quantities, the physical quantities which has both magnitude and direction, magnitude and direction is called vector. Okay, the scalars can be changed only by changing magnitude. For example, if we say that distance travelled by an object is 5 meter, five meter. the distance can be changed only by changing the magnitude. Instead of 5, we should write 10 or 15 or 20 like that. Scalars can change only by changing the magnitudes. Scalars change only by changing only by changing its magnitude. Okay. But vectors can change either changing by magnitude or by changing the direction or by changing both magnitude and direction. For example, we say that the distance travelled by an object is 2 meter per second towards east. Here the Velocity, so distance travelled by an object, so velocity of an object is 2 meter per second towards, uh, the object is moving with an velocity 2 meter per second towards east. Here, 2 is the magnitude of the object. So, we shall change this velocity by changing the magnitude. Instead of 2, we shall write 4 or 6 for 8. Okay, so velocity can be changed by changing the magnitude. Velocity means generally vectors can change by changing the magnitude. Okay, we can also change this quantity by changing the direction. Towards, instead of towards east, shall write towards west. So, again the velocity gets changed. That means vector quantity gets changed. Okay, either we change this vector quantity by changing the magnitude. Or we can change this vector quantity by changing the direction. And also this vector quantity can be changed by changing both magnitude and direction. Okay. So vector quantities, vectors change, vector quantities change by, by changing, by either changing 
by either changing magnitude magnitude or direction or both by changing both magnitude and direction by changing both magnitude and direction okay scalars can be added they can be added by algebraic rules algebraic rules added or subtracted by algebraic rules vectors vectors cannot be added cannot be added by algebraic rules algebraic rules because uh, in addition to magnitude the vector has direction so the vectors can be added by special rules for example vectors can be added by uh, parallel law vector addition parallelogram law vector addition like that and the vectors can also be subtracted by different rules so we shall you shall study this uh, rules in the uh, chapter that is motion in a plane don't worry about that okay so next difference is example what is the example for scalar mass example mass length time etc our example is distance so sorry displacement displacement velocity acceleration force etc okay so scalars are represented by normal letters scalars are represented by let us english letters okay but vectors can be represented by vectors can be represented by represented by bold faced letters bold faced letters or A letter with an arrow over it. Bold face letter. Hence, I take textbook. Letters are represented by bold face letter or a letter with an arrow over it. A letter with an arrow over it. For example, this can be written. This is the letter A. So, I am letter form can be written as letter A. That means we read it as. A vector or vector A, but here the scalars are represented simply by A, B, C, S, X like that. But vectors are represented by the letter over it. Okay, so these are the examples. Sorry, these are the distinction difference between scalars and vectors. Scalars means the physical quantity which has only magnitude. Vectors means the physical quantity which has both magnitude and direction. scalars change only by changing the magnitude that means size vectors can change by the change in the magnitude that is their size or change in the direction that means towards east to west or uh, like that are uh, both changing magnitude and direction okay it can be added or subtracted by algebraic rules but it vectors cannot be added or subtract subtracted by algebraic rules so they have special rules okay example length mass time temperature etc here the examples are displacement velocity acceleration mass momentum etc okay scalars are represented by normal letters uh, okay vectors are represented by bold letters or a letter with an arrow over it vector a vector b vector c vector x vector f like that okay